They operate in the shadows, their names whispered with fear. These aren't your average thugs. We're talking cold-blooded killers, ruthless masterminds, and criminals who built empires on violence and fear. Today, we're going down a dark road because we're counting down the top 10 most dangerous criminals in the world. From history's most prolific serial killers to modern-day mob bosses, we're profiling the men and women who have left a trail of terror across the globe. Number 1. Omar Alexander Cardenas Omar Alexander Cardenas is an American fugitive wanted for murder and suspected to be a member of the Pier Street Gang in Los Angeles. Cardenas is accused of fatally shooting a 46-year-old man named Jabali Dumas outside a barbershop in Silmar, California in August 2019. He disappeared after the incident and is considered a fugitive. In July 2022, the FBI added Cardenas to their 10 most wanted fugitives list, making him the 528th person on the list. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $250,000 for information leading to his capture. Number 2. Yulin Adonai Archagacarius Yulin Adonai Archagacarius, also known by aliases Porky and Alexander Mendoza, is a fugitive wanted by U.S. authorities for his alleged leadership of MS-13, a brutal transnational street gang operating primarily in Central America and the United States. Leading MS-13 in Honduras, Authorities believe Archagacarius has been the top leader, or Drano, of MS-13 in Honduras since at least 2018. This position grants him significant control over the gang's activities within the country. The indictment by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York charges him with cocaine importation conspiracy. He's suspected of overseeing the large-scale smuggling of cocaine from Honduras to the United States, a major source of revenue for MS-13. While the specific details haven't been made public, Archagacarius is believed to be responsible for approving or ordering violent acts, including murders, kidnappings, and assaults, to maintain control and eliminate rivals. Number 3. Ruja Ignatova Ruja Ignatova's story is a captivating blend of ambition, fraud, and mystery. Ignatova wasn't always a wanted fugitive. Born in Bulgaria and raised in Germany, she presented herself as a charismatic entrepreneur. She built a reputation for being intelligent and ambitious, even attending prestigious universities like Oxford. In 2014, Ignatova launched OneCoin, promising a revolutionary new cryptocurrency. She claimed OneCoin would surpass Bitcoin in value and functionality. However, Unlike Bitcoin, there was no transparent blockchain technology behind OneCoin. Instead, OneCoin heavily relied on multi-level marketing tactics, with investors purchasing expensive educational packages that supposedly included OneCoin tokens. Doubts arose as OneCoin lacked a real product or service. Critics suspected it was a pyramid scheme, where profits came from recruiting new investors rather than legitimate business activities. Despite growing scrutiny, Ignatova held extravagant conferences and rallies, maintaining the illusion of OneCoin's success. Then, in October 2017, everything changed. Ignatova vanished after boarding a flight from Sofia. The reason for her disappearance and her current whereabouts remain a mystery. Number 4. Wilver Villegas Palomino Wilver Villegas Palomino is a dangerous fugitive wanted by the United States and Colombia for his involvement in drug trafficking and terrorism. Villegas Palomino is a high-ranking member of the ELN, a Colombian rebel group designated as a foreign terrorist organization by the United States. The ELN is known for its involvement in drug trafficking, kidnapping, bombings, and extortion. Villegas Palomino allegedly led ELN operations in the Catatumbo region, a key area for cocaine production and trafficking on the Colombia-Venezuela border. He's accused of overseeing cocaine smuggling routes into the United States, a crime considered narco-terrorism due to the funding it provides to a terrorist organization. While moving forward, please show some love by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel to never miss an update. Number 5. Luis Giravito. He was a serial killer, sex offender, 
pedophile, and necrophile. He confessed to raping, torturing, mutilating, and murdering at least 147 minors in Colombia, mostly young boys. Some believe the number could be much higher, possibly reaching 221. His victims were primarily young men and boys, often from poor backgrounds. He preyed on their vulnerability. Caravito used disguises to gain his victims' trust. He'd pose as a monk, priest, street vendor, or other seemingly harmless figure to lure them away. He was arrested in 1999 and sentenced to 1853 years in prison, though Colombian law capped his sentence at 40 years. He died in prison in 2023. Number 6. Pedro Lopes Pedro Lopes. Also known as the Monster of the Andes, was a Colombian serial killer and rapist considered one of the most prolific in history. He targeted young girls and women, murdering a minimum of 110 people between 1969 and 1980. He claimed responsibility for over 300 victims across Colombia, Peru, and Ecuador. He lured his victims, who were often poor and vulnerable, with promises or kindness. Apprehended in Ecuador in 1980, he led police to numerous graves. He was convicted of 110 murders and sentenced to the maximum penalty in Ecuador at the time. After serving only 14 years, he was deported to Colombia and placed in a psychiatric facility. Declared sane in 1998, he was released. His whereabouts are currently unknown. Number 7. Ted Bundy Ted Bundy was a notorious American serial killer responsible for the murders of numerous young women and girls during the 1970s, though the exact number remains unknown. He was a serial killer, kidnapper, and rapist. He confessed to 30 murders across seven states between 1974 and 1978, but the true body count is believed to be much higher, possibly exceeding 100. Bundy used his charisma and good looks to gain his victim's trust. He would often pretend to be injured or disabled to approach women, then overpower them. After a fleeing spree and several escapes, Bundy was eventually apprehended and sentenced to death three times for murders in Florida. He was executed in the electric chair in 1989. Bundy's case garnered significant media attention and his ability to blend in as a charming, normal person fueled public fascination and horror. Number 8. Ismael El Mayo Zambada Garcia Ismael Zambada Garcia, also known as El Mayo or Don Mayo, is a major figure in the world of Mexican drug trafficking. He's considered the co-founder and current leader of the Sinaloa Cartel, one of the most powerful drug trafficking organizations in the world. While details are fuzzy, El Mayo allegedly worked alongside Joaquin El Chapo Guzman in the cartel's precursor organization. After El Chapo's arrest in 2014, El Mayo is believed to have taken full leadership. Unlike El Chapo, El Mayo has managed to evade capture by authorities for decades. He maintains a low profile and avoids confrontations, creating an almost mythical reputation. The U.S. government has indicted El Mayo on various drug trafficking charges. He's accused of smuggling massive quantities of cocaine, heroin, and marijuana into the United States. Number 9. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Joaquin Archivaldo Guzman Lora, also known as El Chapo, meaning shorty in Spanish, was a Mexican drug lord and former leader of the Sinaloa cartel one of the most powerful drug trafficking organizations in the world. He was considered to have been one of the most powerful drug traffickers in the world. He was convicted in the United States and sentenced to life imprisonment plus 30 years. He died in prison on January 19, 2023. Number 10. Joseph James D'Angelo Jr. Joseph James D'Angelo Jr., also known by various monikers like the East Area Rapist, the Vizalia Ransacker, and the original Night Stalker, was a notorious American serial killer, rapist, burglar, and former police officer. Active from 1974 to 1986, D'Angelo terrorized California across several counties. He's confirmed to have committed at least 13 murders, over 50 rapes, 
and more than 120 burglaries. The actual number could be higher. D'Angelo meticulously planned his crimes, stalking victims, and often breaking into homes while residents slept. He used escalation of violence, starting with burglaries and progressing to sexual assaults and murders. His victims ranged from young women living alone to couples in their homes. Despite numerous leads and a composite sketch, D'Angelo evaded capture for decades. The case remained unsolved for years, leaving entire communities fearful and frustrated. All right, true crime junkies, that's our harrowing look at the top 10 most dangerous criminals. Remember, these are the nightmares that fuel our fascination with the dark side. But knowledge is power. Stay safe out there, and let us know in the comments whose story chilled you to the bone.